any type of an adverse event is called an incident. There are two types of occupational incidents, the accidents and the near misses. Accidents are the events which result in loss. The loss can be human injury, an environmental damage, loss of property, or loss of name such as bad publicity. A near miss is an event which did not cause an accident instantly, but could have resulted in an accident. There are five types of occupational human injuries. First aid case, medical treatment case, restricted work case, lost time injury, and fatality, which is the death of a worker directly due to a workplace accident. First aid case, an injury which does not need any treatment from a certified medical professional, such as a prescription, follow-up visit, or any other treatment. Such injuries heal on their own, and does not cause a hindrance in employees' work schedule. Medical treatment case An injury which needs immediate medical attention by a certified medical professional. Medical treatment cases are beyond first aid injuries, but are not severe enough to cause a hindrance for an employee to perform their normal duties. This might include a follow-up visit to the doctor's clinic, or a prescription medicine. Restricted work injury or case an injury which is serious enough to stop an employee from performing their regular work duties. For example, a leg fracture may cause an employee to change their job if the job requires walking or standing. The recommendation for the change of job must be according to the nature of injury, supported by the medical advice. Record of number of hours or days for which the worker was on restricted work needs to be maintained. Lost time injury An injury due to which the employee cannot report back to their duties in next scheduled shift, which is usually within 24 hours. Duration is calculated from the time of the initial injury until the time the employee is able to return to regular work duties. The time lost is the duration of the lost time injury. Regular work duties are those duties that are defined in the job description of the employee.